When Eastside and Hillcrest High Schools met on the Rams' home mat last Thursday night, it was the first meeting in nearly two decades for two of the area's iconic programs. And Dan Vasco has more on what it could mean beyond the outcome. It was a duel for the ages. I started hearing a lot of buzz about it and people were like, yeah, we really want to see this. Two decorated upstate wrestling programs competing in a duel for the first time in over a decade. I contacted Coach Kosmicki and I think within four seconds he's like, yes, let's do it. Well, on the local level, it's pretty simple. It's the two biggest kids on the block. For the sport and for South Carolina, yeah, it's it's win-win. For the wrestling in the upstate, it's a win-win. Hundreds gathered at Hillcrest High School to witness the spectacle. It's something both programs believe made an impact beyond just the two teams on the mat. If two of the best programs could get together, and it's not even about the wrestling on the mat at that point, it's about the atmosphere. If you can bring them to events like this, and they see how exciting it is, and they see how many fans show up, I think we're going to have a better retention rate, which will grow the sport in the future. The highly anticipated duel features the three-time defending 5A champs in Hillcrest up against the six-time defending 4A champs in Eastside, and both coaches are optimistic that this meeting will become an annual event. It's going to be an amazing night that you can't not have every year uh, if you want to grow the sport. Every match is going to be a scrap and it's going to be a fight. Uh, the crowd's going to be into it for both sides. East side came away victorious 38-31, but as Coach Kosmicki said, it was a win-win for the sport of wrestling in South Carolina. In Simpsonville, Dan Vasco, 7 Sports.